Hi, I'm Steven Facchino, Engineering and Construction Manager for Mortarnet Solutions. As architecture has changed over the last couple of years, so are some of the details for flashing that don't allow for standard products to do all your flashing needs. Now this pier wing wall is going to be built where this is flush underneath, then the exterior finishes are going to come over the foundation. Mortarnet has developed an adjustable corner. It's very easy to use. It can be bent inside or it can be outside. Now this by itself is nice when you have a project that's very unsquare or whatever. But what we've had to do for this project is we've had to step it up a little bit. What we did, we took the measurements that were required for this pier and we actually notched our simple adjustable corner twice to where it would be bent inside, bent inside, And we could then lay it down directly on the pier. All that took about a few seconds to do, which saves a lot of time and therefore it saves money for the contract. The way we're going to install this is we're going to put a bead of sealant directly underneath it. Before you do any flashing, you want to make sure that your cavity, or in this case, center of the pier, is flush with the top of the brick. If it had a big major voids or if it was left undone, it could hold water. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a piece of bitrophane down on top of the drip edge. Now that that's in place, we're going to go ahead and take our preformed corner. We have 14 inch corners that go all the way up. This one dry fit not going to work, so we're going to go have to get trim it. Now that I've dry fit the corner, it's ready for sealing. I'd like to make sure you see a news line all the way around your corner when it's up against your building and on your flashing. That will almost assure you that there's no way that water could ever migrate under through capillary action. The next part of this installation would then be to run the flashing and connect all in with the components on the corner. Okay, what I've done so far now is I've got everything in place. I'm going to go ahead and align everything. I'm going to tool all my joints to make sure there's no open gaps and no way for water to migrate back in under any of the materials we just put down. Any water that could possibly come down from the substrate now has no chance of getting back into the foundation uh, to create any kind of further problems. So that's about all there is to it. I'm Stephen Facchino. Thanks for watching.